Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss who is Elon Musk's new girlfriend, Natasha Bassett. Let's get right into it. What is Elon Musk's current relationship status? Elon Musk has dated a number of well-known ladies, and we'll tell you more about one particular lucky lady. The SpaceX CEO and creator is one of Forbes' world's most powerful people, with a net worth of nearly $270 billion. Of course, he's also at the top of the list of 2022's most annoying celebs. After his breakup with Singer Grimes last year, Elon Musk appears to have resumed his romance with Australian actress Natasha Bassett. Just a few weeks ago, the two were last spotted departing his private plane in Los Angeles, California. On the other side, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been showing Bassett around the capital city, which is home to the company's newest Tesla Gigafactory. According to an unidentified insider who talked to Hollywood Life, she joined him on back and forth work visits to Austin. Musk and Bassett have been dating for a few months, and they're in a monogamous relationship, according to a person labeled as close to Musk. The source said, They are very much into each other and have been spending a tremendous amount of time together. Musk and Grimes split up a few months after their son, XA12, was born. The reason? Well, just work. Musk told Page Six, We are semi-separated but still love each other, see each other frequently and are on great terms. He then added, It's mostly that my work at SpaceX and Tesla requires me to be primarily in Texas or traveling overseas and her work is primarily in LA. According to Hollywood Life Insider, Musk and Bassett began dating a few months later, although it was very casual. The two discovered they had a genuine connection with unbelievable chemistry, according to the Insider. The source then added, She's gorgeous and could have her pick of men, but says she adores Elon because he's so smart and interesting to be around. Who is the new girlfriend though? She's the country's next great export. Bassett was born and raised in Sydney, New South Wales, and relocated to New York in 2019 to pursue her passion for acting. Natasha Bassett auditioned for the first time at the age of 14, earned the main part in Romeo and Juliet at the Australian Theatre for Young People, and went on to study at the National Institute of Dramatic Art. Bassett got the lead role in the MTV film Dunguna while still in high school, and went on to star in various Australian televised programmes including Rake, Wild Boys, and Cops LAC. After graduating from high school, she made her acting debut in PJ Hogan's film Mental. At the age of 19, she was awarded a screenplay stipend from the Art Start Screenwriters Program, which she utilized to write and direct her short film, Kite. The film was screened at a number of festivals, including the Rhode Island International Film Festival, the Ballinale International Film Festival, and the Big Bear Lake International Film Festival. After training at the Atlantic Acting School of New York, Bassett traveled to Los Angeles for the NBC series Camp. She also appeared in the independent movie Katie Says Goodbye and the 1950s blockbuster Hail Caesar as Gloria Delamour. Britney Spears was played by her. Britney Spears' biography on Lifetime, the 27-year-old's biggest role to date, was Britney Ever After. When the film was released in February 2017, Spears declined to be part of it. Bassett welcomed the role. She told Us Weekly, I have so much respect and admiration for Britney and what attracted me to doing this movie is that it's truly a feminist story at its core. Natasha does not appear to be portraying Britney for laughs in this video, unlike Joseph Fine's portrayal of Michael Jackson in the now cancelled Sky Art series Urban Myths episode Elizabeth, Michael and Marlon. Britney Spears, the primary character, despised it. Spears' representative stated that the singer has no participation in the film and that she does not approve of it. The rep said, Britney Spears will not be contributing in any way, shape or form to the Lifetime biopic, nor does it have her blessing. Despite her excitement, the film was a disaster, and reviewers and fans alike trashed it. She's a baker. We hope Musk likes muffins and cupcakes, because his new girl is an avid baker. She told Vogue Australia, I love to bake. When I was waiting to hear about whether I got the Hail Caesar role, I baked every day waiting to find out, just to get my mind off it. Somehow we think dating the richest man in the world will help take her mind off things too. Her next big role is in the Elvis biopic. Bassett's love life looks to be heating up with her blossoming Hollywood career. In the forthcoming film, Elvis, starring Austin Butler and Tom Hanks as his manager, she will play Dixie Locke, Elvis Presley's first lover. The highly anticipated picture, directed by Bassett's fellow Australian, Baz Luhrmann, will be released on June 24th. Prior to dating Grimes, Musk was in a high-profile romance with actress Amber Heard, and after their breakup, he told Rolling Stone about his love life, saying that he enjoys long-term partnerships. He said at that time, If I'm not in love, if I'm not with a long-term companion, I cannot be happy. Going to sleep alone kills me. Musk has been married three times, twice to actress Tallulah Riley. He shares five sons with his first wife, Justine Musk. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.